Hi guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel and today I'm doing another paid review. Paid review. And this here is from Christian. Arch, a little update. A few months ago I wrote to you regarding my two-tone bluesy. It's a steel and gold submariner that I've had for 14 years. I was consider considering trading or selling at the time. You encouraged me to keep it. Uh, which I did. Unfortunately, it was over-polished by a Rolex seller in New York City during service. The crown on the clasp is almost gone and the whole band has a very loose feel to it. The watch, uh, very loose tin feel. The watch just wasn't the same. They blame the aging condition of the watch. Long story short, I decided to trade it one for one on a minty 16600S series Sea Dweller. Honestly, I couldn't be happier. The Sea Dweller is a cool watch in its own right and a lot more under the radar. Thoughts? I'm PayPaling you 20 US dollars. Thanks again for the sage advice, Christian. Okay, Correction M series produced November 2007. Yes, uh, Christian, I, I would have kept the bluesy. I think if something is over polished, yes, I understand that is a bit of a problem. Perhaps you could take it to a professional polisher. That's what I would have done, a professional wristwatch polisher. <laughs> and they could have um, maybe improved it a bit. But, um, oh, look, I, I suppose a poorer condition two-tone bluesy for a nicer... Um, Sea Dweller. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. And uh, I suppose at the end of the day, you gotta you got to choose what you enjoy there. If it was an over-polished over sort of piece there, um, fair enough, fair enough. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I suppose, you know, the steel would be a lot better... Um, the steel sea dweller is going to be a lot more harder wearing and I agree you know I've got to tell you the truth there I I had the gold submariner and I never really felt comfortable wearing it I was scared of it getting scratched dinted worn just you know I just never really felt that at ease with it so I do understand where you're coming from and I can appreciate it I I, I do get I do get you I, I, I understand what you're saying there. So, um, I, I suppose all's well that ends well. I, um, <clears throat> I think the dealer would have got a, you know, if, if he can get that refurbished, uh, I think it probably is not a bad deal for him. Um, well, I suppose they're kind of they're kind of in the same ballpark there. I, don't, I suppose it's not it's not that bad a deal. Uh, I, I've always, I kind of, what, what do I think there? See, the Sea Dwellers, the market has changed a lot. They're getting a lot more desirable. Um, so, you know, the, the dynamics of the market is changing. So, Sea Dwellers becoming really, really cool. Uh, Two-tone sub, you know, you can sort of do things, you get it polished and, you know, it, it's probably not the end of the world. It's maybe you're a bit harsh on the judgment of it there but uh, I, I do understand uh, you know if you do have something that is a bit you know it kind of gives you it grates with you I, I must admit I'm a bit of a perfectionist myself I like all my pieces to be really minty condition and uh, that's partly the reason why I buy modern pieces as opposed to buying vintage as opposed to buying vintage which vintage itself there is um, it's probably a better investment. You buy some, you know, they're not making old models anymore. You know, they're, they're kind of out of service, you get a good example, and there's, there's a lot more investment potential. But I, I think the thing is with watches is you've got to pick something that you really do like. And uh, the Sea Dweller is a magnificent watch, I must agree. Yes, the Sea Dweller, you can't really get better than that. It, it is a perfect piece to um to have there um and and, and I, I do get it you know i think i think the the whole thing about the sea dweller 
uh, particularly the one you've got the 14 mil it doesn't have the cyclops it's uh probably you know perfect sort of piece to have there so uh yes well done look you've got to, at the end of the day it doesn't matter what i say as long as you are happy that's what the most important thing is you've got to be happy with your choices so uh well done enjoy the sea dweller wear it in good health and keep watching the archie luxury and the poor pluto channel see you later guys hi guys archie luxury archie luxury channel Guys, I want to talk to you today, very, very important. Men cannot live on Google Ads alone. I depend on your support to keep me on YouTube full time. Guys, there's a number of ways you can help me stay on YouTube producing content. Number one, you can organize a paid review. That's right. I will make a video for US $20 minimum and I will review your collection. I'll answer a question for you. Um, so, you know, normally takes... Uh, Normally, you know, about 14 days, 10 to 14 days for me to make these vids. The other thing you could do to sponsor me and help me stay full-time on YouTube is sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a small amount of money, like a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, anything, any amount you want over a dollar, you can, and it basically sends a dollar each month to me. Now, you can cancel at any time if you're sick of the show or you don't like me anymore. Uh, so, guys, 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 guys. Help keep me full-time on YouTube. Paid reviews, I do. Sponsor me on Patreon, and Patreon people get advanced screening of some videos and secret videos. Not to mention, I've got advertising space on the fridge. Come on, guys. Keep me full-time on YouTube. Okay.